In this video, we shall focus on the importance of knowing Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu. We will cover the following points. 1. Who gave us the secret of Krishna Bhakti for the people of the 21st century? 2. How can we attain Krishna Bhakti? 3. The process of attaining grace. 4. Who are Sriman Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu? 5. Why attaining the grace of Sri Nityananda Prabhu is most important in Krishna Bhakti? 6. How can we develop attachment towards the two lords, Gaur Nithai? 7. How Dhamma is important in Krishna Bhakti? We require your help in maintaining this channel. Please consider donating to our channel so that we can come up with inspiring videos that promote spirituality amongst the common masses. If you like our videos, kindly like, share and subscribe to our channel. Please do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for our new videos. Also leave your views about this video in the comment section below. The purpose of this video is to reveal the biggest secret by which one can improve one's spiritual life rapidly. I have myself availed the benefits of the secret by practically walking on this path which I have revealed in this video. The secret lies in the Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy propounded in the 20th century by the great Acharya Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. I have been a great admirer of the Acharya and having walked on the path that Srila Prabhupada has revealed, I have tested out the efficacy of his method of spirituality which he has prescribed for his followers. The secret of bhakti towards Lord Krishna follows a rather indirect route according to the great masters of Gaudiya philosophy. The Gaudiya Vaishnavas of the 16th and the 17th century have revealed this. Srila Prabhupada and his spiritual preceptor Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada have revealed the same for the benefit of the newer generations. They said that Krishna Bhakti is rare. Rarer than Krishna Bhakti is Bhakti towards Srimati Radharani. This Bhakti can be only availed through Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu. You can watch our video titled Who are Lord Gauranga and Lord Nityananda Who are Gaur Nithai that appears on our channel. Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the self same Sri Krishna who appeared with the heart of loving mellows of Srimati Radharani on the face of this earth to distribute unalloyed devotion towards Sri Krishna to the inhabitants of earth in an unhindered manner. The Gaudiya Shastras reveal that anyone who is convinced of this fact shall automatically attain Krishna Prema or love for Sri Krishna. Nobody can refute this statement because it is based on the devotee's practical experience. The secret of Krishna Bhakti, according to the Gaudiya philosophy, revolves around Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who appeared in the holy land of Mayapur in the year 1486. When one takes shelter under Sriman Mahaprabhu, one automatically gains the grace of the Vaishnavas. With grace comes Krishna Bhakti. When Krishna Bhakti matures, one attains Krishna Prema. Sriman Mahaprabhu has revealed that without first attaining Sri Nityananda Prabhu's grace, he cannot be satisfied. Who is Sri Nityananda Prabhu? The very same Balarama, elder brother of Sri Krishna, took the form of Sri Nithai or Nityananda Prabhu, who appeared in Eka Chakra Dham in the year 1474. Although Sriman Mahaprabhu and Sri Nithai were not born to the same couple, they possessed the direct mood of Sri Krishna and Sri Balarama and displayed emotions with the same intensity when they first visited our planet as Sri Krishna and Sri Balarama. Attaining Sriman Mahaprabhu before attaining the grace of Lord Nityananda Prabhu is impossible. This was the proclamation of Lord Sri Mahaprabhu. The Gaudiya scriptures revealed that Sri Nityananda Prabhu was more merciful when compared to Sriman Mahaprabhu. Sriman Mahaprabhu often looked at the intention, mood and the demeanor of devotees before accepting them. However, Sri Nityananda Prabhu would even accept hardcore criminals with open arms and recommend them to Sriman Mahaprabhu. Such was his mercy and large heartedness. On the recommendation of Sri Nithai, Mahaprabhu would accept devotees unconditionally. Gaudi Vaishnavas even revealed that if someone accepted and worshipped Gaur Nithai, Krishna Bhakti appears in the heart of such a devotee as a priceless gift. This is there to see as at a practical level. No wonder Srila Prabhupada introduced the worship of the Gaur Nithai deities as an essential aspect for performing devotional service. Now the question comes as to how one can attain the mercy of Sri Nityananda Prabhu and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
This is a question that many spiritual seekers may have. Kali Yuga is a dark age and one is unable to perform elaborate services in order to avail spiritual gain. Therefore, there has to be a simpler means to attain Krishna Bhakti by performing service to Sriman Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu. When we take interest in a particular subject, one first avails details about that subject and does a final study of the subject. Following this, one analyzes that subject over a long period. Over a long period, one attains mastery on that subject. Similarly, if we are interested in Krishna Bhakti, one should follow the commands of the Acharyas of the systems that promote Bhakti. The most important tenet of attaining Krishna Bhakti is to become familiar with the personalities of Sriman Mahaprabhu and Lord Nityananda Prabhu. One should read works such as Chaitanya Charitamrit and Chaitanya Bhagavad and ruminate on these personalities of Godhead. Even while reading these works, one has to get convinced that Sriman Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu are not ordinary mortals but are the supreme personalities of Godhead. When we have developed sufficient faith in these two personalities, we see that grace magically sets into our lives. When we internally surrender to Gaur Nithai, our bhakti shall reach untold heights not attained through any other form of sadhana. In fact, in Kali Yuga, faith in Gaur Nithai is the greatest asset. When these two lords appear in our heart, cleansing of the heart automatically takes place. Faith in Gaur Nithai has a far-reaching transformational effect. Seva or service to the deities of Gaur Nithai is another powerful means of increasing the transcendental mellows within the heart. As our faith in Gaur Nithai increases, we shall automatically see that our attraction to Harinama and the Dhamma, residence of Sri Krishna increases. One will get attracted to the Dhamma such as Sri Govardhan and Sri Vrindavan Dham. One's practice of chanting the holy names will automatically strengthen. One will begin to feel the higher vibrations of Bhakti within the heart. Sriman Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu are the personification of Krishna Prema. Even if one is not consciously focusing on Sri Krishna, the Lord will automatically draw closer through the love of Gaur Nithai. The Gaudiya Vaishnavas claim that one can never impress Lord Krishna or Srimati Radharani directly. They even claim that it is impossible to get Sri Krishna's attention even if one does his bhakti for a million years. On the other hand, simply by taking shelter under Gaur Nithai, Sri Krishna becomes your servant automatically. This is the power of Gaura Bhakti. This is the power of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. It is my humble request that people following my channel should take some interest in Sriman Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu for their own spiritual well-being.